All right, here is some ridiculous news that happened over in Mississippi, which uh, once again proves that people in office, often not the greatest people at all. This happened in Mississippi. A Mississippi lawmaker punched his wife for not undressing quickly enough for sex. Wow, okay, here's a picture of the guy. That... All right. The state's House Speaker has already called for Representative Douglas McLeod to resign after he was arrested, and he was drunk and he hit his wife. A Mississippi lawmaker was arrested this weekend after police say he drunkenly punched his wife in the face because she didn't undress quickly enough when he wanted to have sex. That's... wow. That's a hell of a reaction. That's... wow. First of all, I I, I don't want to... I don't want to, you know, like, like make light of of this, but um, I, I mean, isn't like, isn't a little bit of anticipation a good thing, you know? Like, isn't that kind of, isn't that kind of sexy, you know? I'm not, I'm not trying to make light of it. Like, I'm, like, I'm really not. Like, like I hope I'm not, you know. Like, I know it's like, oh, Ron, this is breaking news. It just happened, you know. Like, I get it, but you know, comedy is tragedy plus time. Uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to, you know, make light of it or, or be too irreverent here. Uh, but I am a comedian streaming on, on YouTube, uh, you know, so what are you going to do? But, but like, isn't like who, it's kind of weird. Like that's just like, this isn't fast enough. Boom. And I'm still in the mood. Like what the fuck's wrong with you? Like who? All right. So this guy is wow. All right. So police responded to a domestic violence call on Saturday night at the home of, uh, Doug McCloyd, uh, the Biloxi Sun Herald reported Monday when they arrived, 58-year-old representative for Loosedale was intoxicated, slurring his speech and stumbling around the house. Okay, police found McCloyd's wife and another unidentified woman on the second floor of the house, frightened and shaking. McCloyd's wife said he just snapped and struck her in the face after she didn't get her clothes off quickly enough to have sex. The punch bloodied her nose and left blood on the couple's bed and floor. McCloyd's wife ran to the other woman's room for safety, and the two locked themselves inside. The other woman said McCloyd uh, began banging on the locked door and threatened to kill her dog if she didn't let him in. Wow. Um. Jeez. Who? Wow. So this is a guy who's an elected official who is willing to kill an animal and will punch his wife if she doesn't undress click quickly enough for sex. This is a psychopath. This is a true, like this is a true, I keep bumping my mic today. What the fuck is wrong with me? This is a true psychopath. Like there's no other way. This guy's a psychopath. This guy's a psychopath that could very easily get reelected. If he doesn't resign, as of the recording of this, uh, to, uh, he, he doesn't seem to have resigned as of now. And he could very easily get reelected. Now, they're calling for his resignation. State Senator David Blunt uh, called for his resignation on Twitter. And uh, State House Speaker Philip Gunn also called for McLeod's resignation. Uh, whether he will or not, it, it looks like he probably will. If I had to take a guess, I'd say he will. We don't know. He might not. And if he doesn't, uh, there's a good chance he could get reelected. These are the type of people we let in office. Like, who does that? I, I feel like if, if you can be violent that way. I mean, this guy, and, and he's, I think the article said he's out on bail, right? Yeah, he posted bail. So this guy's not even in jail. This guy's not even in jail. Punched his wife, gave her a bloody nose, threatened to kill a dog. Not even in jail. This guy's fine. He's just out there. Might not even resign. Wow. What a sick, like who? Like, oh, you're not getting naked fast enough. I'm going to punch you now and threaten to kill an animal. That's... I'm still in the mood, though. You still into this? Like, what the fuck? Like, this guy's a true psychopath. Like, this guy is a violent psychopath. Uh, completely devoid of any amount of empathy for other human beings and animals. These are the type of people we have making our laws. And when you look at how disgusting the Republican Party is... A guy like this would fit right at home there. A guy like this would fit right at home in office, and in particular in the Republican Party. 
That's why it's so hard to have any reverence for our system. It's so hard. So, all right. That guy. Good job. And that's Douglas McLeod. I might be mispronouncing his name, but Douglas McLeod of uh, Mississippi. We'll see if he resigns. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tweet me an article at Ron Placone. We'll go through it together and 